In the middle of the night I suddenly woke up and I was feeling so sick. I felt like I'd never been so sick before. I think I realized my blood sugar was low, but I was feeling so weak and so sick that I couldn't even get off the bed and go get something to eat. I'm gonna tell you a story about the worst experience of my life, when I had a severe hypoglycemia and I thought I wouldn't make it. I want to talk about what hypoglycemia is, how dangerous it is, what causes it, how to treat it and how to avoid it completely. Responses to all these questions coming up in this video. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. Back in the college when I was 20 years old or so, I had a pretty busy day one day. I went to school in the morning, I did a pretty intense workout in the afternoon and I went to meet friends in town in the evening. We were meeting downtown that night and I was a bit late for the meeting, so I skipped the dinner, I just grabbed a quick snack, but I didn't bolus a lot so I thought it was gonna be okay. And uh, it was a great night that night, we had a lot of fun, we drank few drinks, I arrived at home around midnight and I was so tired and I just went right to bed and fell asleep. In the middle of the night I suddenly woke up and I was feeling so sick. I felt like I'd never been so sick before. I think I realized my blood sugar was low, but I was feeling so weak and so sick that I couldn't even get off the bed and go get something to eat. I tried to wake up my girlfriend so that she can uh, get me something sweet and I really did wake her up, she told me about that the day after because I only vaguely remembered what happened. She said that I was literally not able to speak, I was just repeating I'm sick, I'm sick, but it was like if my brain didn't work I was not responding to her questions, I was not saying what I need or what I'm feeling. Uh, I was not able to tell her what to do, I just kept repeating, I'm sick, I'm so sick, help me. And thank god she brought me a glass of orange juice that I drank and she also brought some snacks that I ate and I started to slowly recover from the hypo and started to feel better. I didn't have such severe hypoglycemia after or before this incident happened, but I want to talk to you today about how dangerous hypo can be for us diabetics treated with insulin. So hypoglycemia is when your blood sugar gets too low, specifically below 70 mg or 3.9 millimoles. The most common signs are shaking, dizziness, sweating, fast heartbeat and hunger. When you are feeling these signs there are two things that bring your blood sugars up and that's eating carbohydrates and your body producing hormones such as glucagon and these hormones actually tell your liver to start releasing sugar to your body. The second type of symptoms appears when the blood sugar fell low enough so that the brain is no longer getting enough sugar. These symptoms are things like difficulty concentrating, confusion, weakness, vision changes and difficulty speaking. You can even lose consciousness. And all these are exactly the symptoms that I had when this incident happened at night and I have to admit I was not really prepared for that. And to be prepared we need to know what causes the hypoglycemia. The most common causes of severe hypo are not eating enough or skipping meals, physical activity, insulin dose miscalculation resulting in excessive dose and alcohol. And most of these things I did on that day when my severe hypoglycemia incident happened. I had a workout in the afternoon, I didn't eat proper dinner, I drank alcohol and this all happened on the same day. And at the same time I did not decrease my nighttime insulin dosage, which I should have. You probably know that you can avoid hypos by checking your blood sugar frequently, not skipping meals reducing insulin dosage before and during physical activity and after drinking alcohol or taking a quick snack when you see your blood sugar is dropping. You always want to be one step ahead of your blood sugar so these scary situations don't happen. When you already feel the symptoms of hypoglycemia, check blood sugar to see if you are low. If it is low, you want to take some fast-acting carbohydrates. The most effective are things like glucose tablets, juice boxes, 
regular soda or just sugar dissolved in water. These are easy to digest and bring your blood glucose up very quickly. The recommended rule to treat hypoglycemia by experts is 15-15, meaning take 15 grams of quick carbs and check your blood sugar again in 15 minutes. If it is still low, then repeat the same thing, 15-15. If you don't plan to eat anything within the next hour or two, you can also have a quick snack like apple or granola bar, just to make sure that your blood sugar doesn't drop again within the next hour. To be honest, it's quite difficult for me to stick to these 15-15 rules because when I'm low, I really want to eat everything that I see in the fridge and I want to get rid of this nasty feeling as soon as possible. But that usually causes a spike in my blood sugar that is way too high. So try to stick to this 15-15 rules. That's really what, what is the general recommendation and what should work best. Another thing you can do is to plan ahead in order to avoid hypoglycemia. Especially when you skip meals or have physical activity, reduce your insulin dosage or eat some carbohydrates to compensate for that. Your diabetes team should be able to walk you through specific steps that are best in your specific situation. To be prepared, always carry some fast carbs on you. Have something sweet next to your bed, in your bag, at your workspace, in the car, just in case you never know when hypoglycemia will hit. And please take it seriously because when you get into a severe hypo, you can pass out and you can have a seizure, which can be fatal. It is also worth carrying a medical bracelet or medical cards because if you pass out, the people around you might be able to help you a bit faster. Another thing is driving. Oftentimes when I'm driving and I feel low, I'm not really feeling like stopping and that's a mistake. Every time you drive and you feel low, you should immediately stop, check your blood sugar and eat some fast carbohydrates if your blood sugar is low. If you keep driving, this is very dangerous, not only for you, but also for the other drivers on the road. Guys, let the closest people around you know what they should do when your blood sugar is low. Your family, your closest friends, and maybe even your closest colleagues. I used to keep it to myself before this severe hypo incident happened, but then I realized if I need help in the future, these people, these friends, these colleagues need to know how to help me, otherwise it might be already too late. Click here to watch a video that you can share with anyone who you want to know how to help you if you have a severe hypoglycemia. Or click here to watch another video of mine. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!